Hi, my name is Steve and in this video I'm going to talk about synchronicity and how to get in the flow of life. This has been a fascinating topic for me for a long time and um, I'm not talking about flow states when I mean like uh, performance flow states where you feel like th those are wonderful as well. <laughs> those flow states, I actually had a moment like that, uh, a day like that the other day. But this video is going to be more about synchronicity and like a couple things. One is if you feel that you're in a place where you don't have meaning in your life, you don't feel that your life's on purpose, um, my hope is that by the end of this video you feel that it is because one of the programs or dogmas that religion teaches is that um, we're here to kneel to this higher power when in fact... When you go to a holy ground, they say, you know, take off your sandals or take off your shoes because it's holy ground. In other words, this is a holy place and you need to, to take off your shoes in respect of that place. When in fact, the opposite is true is that we are the holy ones and we're taking off the shoes so the earth Gaia can be respectful to us. Um, and that's the movement and the energy that we're moving into. So some of what I'm going to share with you, let me just start by saying that the old energy, uh, the old energy would say that when you were to take action in your life, that um, you just need to visualize, meditate, and then just wait. That's the old energy, the old belief. Okay. The new energy that we're moving into is we have a marriage or a partnership with the creator. And as part of that partnership, it's our job to, to take actions and to, to feel and to get the feelings and to think and contemplate what we want, but also to take action. And so I'm going to borrow this from Cryon, which is uh, channeled through Lee Carroll, uh, a gentleman in the U.S. I've been watching their channel. It's Lee Carroll channeling Cryon. Of magnetic service it's an excellent excellent channel a YouTube channel in fact and I highly recommend you search it Google it but one of the things I'm gonna just paint this picture because I, when I heard this I was like this is exactly how I felt about this whole synchronicity this idea of creating synchronicity or good luck and our good fortune or just being at the right place at the right time it's like how do you do all that well if you think of like uh, a hallway with doors Okay, let's imagine you're in a hallway with doors and all the doors are there for you to be opened. So in the old energy, you would just, you know, sit, pray, you'd be sitting in the hallway and all those doors are closed and nothing's happening. And you're wondering, why isn't anything happening? Because you're not opening any doors. And so the new energy where we partner or have this marriage with the creator, what happens is you got to start opening those doors. And when you start, now there's a lot of reasons why we don't open doors. We're afraid of failure, afraid of success. What if it doesn't work out? Lots of head garbage. But what I'm saying is that if you open the doors, that's when the synchronicity shows up. So the universe will show up once you show up. There's, it's conspiring. The creator's conspiring with your energy. But if you're not opening doors and you're not wondering why stuff's happening, that's why. You've got to take the first step. So what happens when you're in synchronicity? When you're in synchronicity and you start opening the doors in the new energy, okay? And um, I'm going to say like for me, it's been like June of this year, of 2021 moving forward is the new energy because I've noticed a massive shift in myself personally. It's going to be different for everyone, right? But this new energy, when you're ready and ready to align with it, Manifestation is going to happen at a level you've never, ever experienced before once you start opening the doors, right? So you, you notice how I keep putting the responsibility back on you to start opening these doors in this hallway that we're calling your life. And so when you start opening the doors, what's going to happen is things are going to naturally fit into place and come to you, right? So I started this project uh, two months ago. We signed a contract, started working with this guy. I was like, oh, this is going to work out really good. And uh, like crickets for like six weeks. And then all of a sudden, the last two weeks, boom, we got one, two, three. We're getting all these appointments coming in. And so what's happening is I'm promoting their service. They're an SEO company. And they're giving me a commission based on the sales that we close. And what's happening is the sales are getting easier and easier the more I take action. 
So that is something where I'm in synchronicity. I'm in alignment with the frequency vibration of that timeline. But let's say that I'm uh, in a situation in this new energy where I'm aligning with something and then I take action and nothing happens, right? And I'm not getting the result I want. I've had that happen too. And when that's happening, you know, for example, I would work with um, a consultant to help them with our lead generation business the first six months of this year. And I didn't really get the results I was expecting for them. And so for me, I feel horrible because I want my clients to get as much value as possible from the services we deliver. So there's a misalignment there. And that's why there's a lack of synchronicity, right? It's like things are not dropping in my lap. But as of June of this year, all of a sudden I would align with a different type of client and then we would produce something and then they would get a result. Like for example, I got a message on WhatsApp from one of my clients in Switzerland today saying I got two more appointments booked. It looks like the changes we made worked. And so that's when you're in synchronicity. It's like you're taking action and then things are starting to drop into your lap even better than you expected. But for a lot of us, what we do is we sit and we wait. We're like, I'll do that next year. I'll do that later. And because you keep waiting, well, it's never going to happen because the energy of that timeline isn't being activated in your body. And because the energy of that timeline is not being activated by you opening one of those doors, well, guess what? It's never going to happen. You'll be waiting a long time. It's not like you just sit there and you get an epiphany and be like, oh, today's the day. You know, something I've been doing for I think 10 years is that I like, I write a list of things on a little notepad like this that I'm going to do the next day. So I, the, the night before I write down and it used to be five or six things that ended up being too much. Now it's today's Saturday, right? So I only have two things on here, gym. And then I have some editing to do for uh, some videos. That's it. That's on my list. This video, creating this video was not in this list. This is just spontaneous. It's something I wanted to do, but because I always honor that I'm always opening new doors. And it's funny because I'm opening doors with other new potential clients, some partnerships that I've created. And one guy, I've been working with him for four months. We haven't done, made any money together, but I keep following up with him. Not in an annoying way. He's like, oh, I've just been busy. And now we're scheduled to talk on Sunday. And I just like, there's this tenacity because you know that eventually it's going to produce something in your life, right? So what I'm saying is, when you get into a place where you're in uh, opening these doors, let's go back to the metaphor, right? This is back from Cryon, uh, a magnetic service channel by Lee Carroll. When you're in that metaphoric hallway and the doors are all closed, then how are the opportunities going to come to you? They're not. So we got to be constantly opening doors. Now, that doesn't mean that you're opening doors, hundreds of doors, because then now all your action and energy is focused on action and not on being in a state of receptivity. So to get into this flow, there's a natural balance between opening doors and then waiting and being patient and then opening doors and being patient and opening another door and being patient, right? There was a, a woman who made a comment on one of my videos recently and she had said, um, if I have a specific person that I would like to like be with, how would I attract them into her, my life? And what I said to her was in the comments was, instead of focusing just on that person, that's just one door. What you want to do is you're in that metaphoric hallway. You want to be opening multiple doors, but you also want to be a state of receiving, meaning contemplating what it would feel like to be with a person that's like that. And that experience may give you something even better than that person. And that's what I'm talking about. Keep opening doors, but stay in a state of expectation. Not a state of expectation, a state of it's already done. You already know that it's done, a state of knowing. Right? We have five senses, then there's the sixth sense, the state of knowing, being in a state of knowing so that you know that, oh yeah, and you, what happens is you're projecting from your heart that vibration frequency of that timeline of knowing it and then just taking action, opening another door, opening another door and don't judge, this is the other thing with synchronicity, don't judge the door and be like, oh, but that door is like five foot seven and brown hair and I don't really like that door. You're getting in your own way. That's a, it's your own resistance. Be open to whatever shows up on the outside of the door. Don't judge the door. 
It's just a door, okay? So that's that's like some suggestion on how to get in a state of synchronicity is like open doors, stay in a state of opening doors, stay in a state of, uh, I keep saying expectation, not expectation, a state of knowing that whoever and the experience that you want is already here now and experience it now. Send out that vibration and then open doors. And don't judge the door because it's just a door. Let it come to you and be open to something even better showing up from that door being opened. And one thing I'll, I'll add is that if you're looking for something specific and you're like, we're talking material now, it could be money, it could be people, uh, it could be a network, it could be a job, it could be a business, it could be a client, whatever it is. Instead of like going to like seek it out so that it fulfills you when you get it for that, you know, that moment and then you feel unfulfilled again, realize that the the fulfillment is the key. Feel fulfilled. Feel that it's already done, that it's already accomplished, that you've already received that outcome. And then once you're in that state of receiving, continue to open doors and just watch the magic of life serve you up whatever it is uh, that your intention has been uh, has the, that has been sent out. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've never uh, watched any or seen any of my videos before, uh, please subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like or a thumbs up and please share it with someone that's important to you in your life. Um, I've got a new book coming out uh, next year called The 7 Day Manifestation Experiment. If you're not on the waiting list, uh, it, the subtitle is How to Create Your World. Uh, I'm giving away my Quantum Manifestation video training series as part of people who want to join the waiting list for the book. There's a link down below. Just click on it, send in your name and email, submit the form, and you'll get one video a week from me on my quantum manifestation training while you're waiting for my book to come out next year. Thanks for watching. My name's Steve. Love you. Talk to you next time.